Quelques soldats n'ont pas été attaqués à leur base, mais leur convoi est tombé dans une embuscade. Ils étaient en route de Bunagana vers là où nos soldats sont positionnés. Deux de nos soldats ont été atteints par les balles. Ils ont été blessés au niveau de leur tête. Ils ont été évacués vers Kisoro pour qu'ils soient soignés. Nous n'avons pas été surpris par cette attaque, car il y a des indisciplinés qui se nomment Wazalendo, Maï Maï, qui font des incursions là-bas, et ceux-là ne respectent rien. Ugandan soldiers shot at by rebels in Diara Congo. At least two Ugandan soldiers were injured in an ambush by unidentified armed men in the conflict to read an eastern Diyara Congo, according to media reports. A convoy of the Uganda People's Defense Forces UPDF came under fire at around 10 a.m. on Monday, October 16th, along the Munagana Ruturu Road in North Kivu province. In an interview with Uganda's UPDF spokesperson Brigadier General Felix Kulaija said an investigation was ongoing to identify the attackers. The two soldiers were admitted in a field hospital in Bunagana while in critical condition, he said. The publication said the soldiers were later transferred across the border to Kisoro Regional Referral Hospital in Uganda's Kisoro district. Of course, we responded to the attack and the rebels, who were about six in number in Banana Plantation, fled. Kulaije was quoted as saying, Eastern Diyara Congo has been volatile for nearly three decades and remains home to more than 130 armed groups. In March 2023, Uganda deployed troops in the areas as part of the East the of the East African Community Regional Force, which is mandated to observe the implementation of a ceasefire between Diara Congo Army and the M23 rebel group. Ugandan troops occupy some areas vacated by M23 rebels. Kulaija dismissed claims that the M23 rebels might be behind the attack. Heavy fighting resumed on October 1st between the M23 rebels and the government coalition, which including militias such as the genocidal FDRL, Maimai Nyatula, and so-called Wazalendo youth groups. Regional leaders have since renewed their calls for peace talks to end the conflict, which began in November 2021. However, the Congolese government has ruled out any possibility for dialogue with the M23 rebel group since November 2022. The Congolese army and the M23 rebels have had a fragile ceasefire. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.